Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pricey, pricey video. Today's video is going to be, I, okay. I bought the most expensive makeup at Sephora that they sell. So I like went to the uh, website and I went to foundations and then I sorted by price high low and I bought the most expensive foundation and so on and so forth with each makeup product until it was like a full phase of the most expensive stuff they sold. I think my total came out to be around $1,200 and I was like, so we're gonna see if this stuff is worth the price and like how it performs. But I hope you guys are excited for the video. That is my only announcement. Wow, okay. So I guess we'll sing the subscribe song and then we'll jump right into the video. Subscribe to All right, let's jump right in. Okay, so. First things first is the Resort to Pleasure Primer from Tom Ford. This was their most expensive primer. This is a bronzing primer. It's, it looks like doo-doo. It literally looks like a turd of doo-doo whenever you squirt it out. Can you see that? So then I'm going to massage it into my face. So the dealio is I've used this before and it's really nice and it really, like you can literally tell my face is turning orange slash bronze. It works. It's a nice primer. It's moisturizing. I like it. It's like $80, so I, I'm never gonna be able, no matter how good it is, even if it's a miracle, it's like hard for me to ever say a primer is worth $80, no matter how good it is. The most expensive foundation that they sell on the site is this La Mer foundation. I have been so excited to try this. I've never tried it before, but people say, people say it's good. So what I'm gonna do is light it up, light, so what I'm gonna do is squirt some out on my Y6 Brush Morphe. You can use my code. My code is Laura Lee, cause that is my name. Hey! So this is the shade 31. How 31 works. Oh my God, it's like the exact color of my skin. <laughs> the exact color of that bronzer. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells heavenly. I kind of hate that I like this this much. They have it pretty cool on the Sephora website now. What you can do is type in, like if you know another foundation that they sell that you have a shade that you know in, you can like hit that foundation and it will tell you the shade that you're gonna be in other foundations. So that's exactly what I did. I typed in the shade I was in Fenty for this one and I came up with this shade, which is a little dark for my face, but I think it looks just right for my body. I feel like it's a little dewy, medium coverage, looks really pretty on the skin. So I do like the foundation so far. Don't really know how it's gonna wear, but so far, so good. Next, we'll go ahead and do concealer. This was an $80 La Mer concealer. La Mer is just taking the cake. It was like La Mer, Tom Ford, and Natasha Denona, girl. They were taking the cake for the high price tag stuff, which sounds about right. I'm gonna pretend to be shocked right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this concealer on my under eye to brighten and to conceal. This one is the shade Medium 32. I'm gonna take a little Artiste brush just to blend that out. You can also use your Y6 brush to blend this out. I'm just switching up the game today. No reason in particular, just to have a good old time. That blended out really nicely and evenly and I feel like it's pretty decent coverage, pretty good. You can still see a little darkness, but girl, I ain't mad. Look at that turd on my finger, ew. I'm just gonna wipe that off and we're gonna keep the party moving. For setting powder and contour and that kind of jazz, I picked up this Sculpting Glow Palette that I've never tried before from Natasha Denona. So this right here says it's Japanese pressed powder. Sounds kind of fancy to me. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this to set my under eye. I'm going to take an E49 brush, get some of the powder on it, and set it under get up. I mean, I don't live for this as a setting powder. Um, I feel like it's like a little too dark as a setting powder. It's like making my face turn kind of orangey dark. It's weird. It's weird, weird. So I'm not like living, like I probably wouldn't use this normally as a setting powder. Let's see how the contour pans out. This is a powder contour and on top is three cream products. So we're gonna go ahead and tap into the powder contour. I am going to take an M530, M530 brush. I'm gonna tap into the contour shade and then hope for the best. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and start contouring my face. By the way, my hair is not greasy. It's actually wet because I just took a shower. So I would just like to claim that I'm clean. Not greasy hair. Um, yeah, a lot of people like to clock the house and say that my hair is greasy and really it's just, 
it's greasy actually most of the time. Most of the time you're right. It's actually, by the way, this contour is very buttery smooth and I'm truly, truly enjoying this powder. Like it looks intense in the pan, but it's like blending like butter on my skin. So yes, Natasha, 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 you did that. So what I like to do is just like these small circular motions and I'll go back and forth and blend it. I always do highlight last because I guess I just feel like it's like the icing on the cake. So next we are gonna do eyebrows and I was kind of annoyed when I saw what the top eyebrow product was because I don't even want this product because I won't use this product. So if I, I don't prefer to do powder eyebrows. I preferred a pencil or a pomade and the top product was this Visart brow palette now visor is like it's very cheap packaging but their formula is like super luxe that's where the price comes from but i i just mm, oh okay so there's like three pomades in here that's good to know but you know i don't know i just don't dig it you know i i like i like my my it's way quicker for me just to do a pomade but i'm gonna tap into this pomade right here and then we'll touch it up with some of these powder shades. Probably this one, this one's a bit warm. And we'll make some magic happen. I'm gonna use a Morphe M58 brush. This is just an angled eyebrow brush with a little spoolie on the end. So I'm dipping into the darkest brown pomade and not a lot of pigment comes off the pomade. So I'm gonna mix it in some of the brow powder. And that's better. I think like these palettes are really cool. Like if you're a makeup artist and you need all these shades and you like to like do powder and make your own concoctions. A lot of makeup artists like to like mix a bunch of different products. I don't know, just for me personally, like this isn't my vibe. This is this is not a mood. I, I do not like spending 30 minutes mixing in brow products. I like to grab my brow pencil that I trust, know, and love and just put it on my face. I don't know about you guys. Comment down below like what you're what you live for in a brow product. Okay, we have our brows applied on. Um, the powder and the pomade mixed together actually worked really well. Will this be something that you know I will be using? No, because I'm no longer doing makeup on other people unless it's for like a video. But if you're a traveling makeup artist, you might like this, but it does have a high price tag on it, so it's like okay for blush. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got this for bronzer too. This was also like one of the top most expensive bronzers. I just feel like I have to do this just because. Like, I have to, I'm so sorry. It's going on my face. This is like waking up Christmas morning and opening all your makeup and then you're just like piling it on your face and you're just like, I don't know what's happening. I just got new makeup, so it's going on my face. <laughs> Okay, hi, here's this. This is the Tom Ford, the ultimate bronzer. Like their packaging and everything's so beautiful. Really pretty presentation, really pretty price tag. The reason I opened that randomly is because I bought another one that looks just like it and I thought it was this one, but this is the blush, the most expensive. This is the Soleil Contouring. How is this contouring? Girl, this is blush and highlight. Contouring compact with illuminator. So two highlights and a blush. I'm gonna take an E4. This is an angled brush and I'm just gonna tap along. Ooh, very pigmented. You see that? It's dangerous. So I'm just gonna apply it to the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna drape it. This brow is trying to be patchy over here and she better settle down. I'm gonna have to work that out in just a minute. For eyes, oh my gosh, guys, I bought this mega beast Natasha Denona palette. This is the 28 eyeshadow palette 28. That's what the unit curtain says. Purple blue, I guess that's the name of it. I'm confused. Okay, but this is it. Let's open it up and take a look inside. I don't know if I dig the, these pieces of paper, but I think you can tear them out. What do you guys think about this? Is this a yes or no for you? And then this is the palette. It actually is beautiful, like really beautiful. You get blues and purples and pinks and browns and a little silver and some pewters over here. So I'm excited about the arrangement of colors. I just hope they work out very well because I believe this palette was over $200, which is just freaking crazy to spend on an eyeshadow palette, but apparently not crazy to everyone because people are buying it. I mean, I bought it, so I guess I'm the crazy one, but I bought it for a video, which I feel like is different. I personally would not just like go out and buy this because one, I have enough eyeshadow. Two, I would rather buy multiple palettes 
for the price of 200 then just dedicate all that money to one palette. That's just the way my brain works. I went ahead and added some of that setting under eye powder that we used and uh, just cleaned up the contour a little bit. You guys are gonna scream with me because my fingernail slipped and then it dug into this rich <gasps> luxe fancy 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 palette i mean like i just took out like six uses of contour in one fill swipe but i'm gonna take a y18 brush it's like a flat blender oh, i'm gonna fix this patchiness you just wait okay you just give me a second okay Ugh, i really just want to use this color because it's there i think i'm gonna use this bright blue um and then i'm just gonna pop it right here in the inner corner and just start to blend it out. And oh my gosh, look how pigmented that is. Yes, Natasha, yes, Sister Sue. I'm gonna pack it on. I'm dipping back in and I'm just packing it on. I would have typically used a smaller brush for this part because you can see like it's such a little defined area of the face. Next, I'm going to take a clean R39 brush and we just gotta soften up the edges right there at the base make sure there's no harshness happening. And then I'll just go back in and pack on just a little bit more color because I actually want this blue to be pretty intense. I'm gonna grab this little maroon matte shade right here. Woo, look how much color came off. I see you. And they blended really nice so far. All right, so I'm packing this on and this is turning into like kind of a weird color scheme, but I really think when we put the shimmer that I wanna use all over, this is so pigmented. My eye, it's gonna pull it together. So let's just let's just wait it out before we judge. You guys say I always say it's the same color, so I'm over here just like where? Where? And again, I'm gonna take a clean R39 brush and I'm just gonna soften up the edges and I'm actually gonna intensify it just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take some concealer and just go ahead and carve out the eyelid. So that way we get like some max pigment from the eyeshadow shimmer. The uh, blues, like we're having a really rough time. I blend it and blend it and blend it and they just really were having a hard, the blue and the maroon just had a really hard time blending. I wanna use this duochrome uh, bluish brown shade right here on my eyelid. I'm gonna apply it with a M116 brush and I'm just really gently packing this onto my eyelid and I'm just building it up. Now we'll go back in with that maroon shade and we're just gonna blend these together right here at this edge. For eyeliner, I bought this crazy Louboutin liquid liner, but this is a weapon and it also looks like a sexual toy and it looks like a lot of things. But what it is is an eyeliner. Never used this liquid liner before. Very intense packaging, but the wand's actually felt tip, which I hate. So let's see if it works though. So far, it is extremely pigmented black, but it's actually really hard to maneuver this weird, it's like a little rectangle sponge. It's not even a pointy tip at the edge of it. Nearly impossible to get this crap on my eye right. I'm like regretting this wing so bad. Like, I hate it. Like, I can't do this wine. Okay, I went back over it with the Kat Von D liner because it did dry shiny and I had to finish off this poor, poor wing over here. Okay, are you guys ready for the most expensive mascara? <laughs> Louboutin! It looks like it's like in a casket, like a vampire, like. <clears throat> Let's get it out. Oh, that's heavy. Here I go using, oh, it's like a little short little turd and it has these tiny little plastic spikes on it. I get to actually wear my Lily lashes today because the most expensive lashes on Sephora's left side was Lily lashes and I was like, how convenient. I think our eye look looks so cool. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on Lily lashes in Miami. You can use code Laura Lee for a discount, but you can't use my code on Sephora's website because obviously it don't work that way. You would have to buy them off Lily's website just transparency there. For the lower lash line, I'm going right back in with our blue shade and I'm just gonna dust it right here. And then I'm gonna take our maroon shade, which, ooh, I forget how pigmented this one is. I'm just gonna blend it on the other half of my eye. Why do I have like Harley Quinn vibes on my lower lash line? For waterline, I bought this Louboutin pencil liner that I'm just gonna fill in my waterline with. 
Guys, for lips, I bought this Louboutin lipstick and I forgot I bought this color, but it actually goes so well with the eye look, like the makeup gods are coming together. <laughs> For highlighter, I'm gonna go back to the Sculpting Glow palette and go in with this highlight shade right here. Now, I'm gonna try out this highlighter up here to see if we get a little more. That's better. Oof, I feel like these highlighters are pretty good. And um, some hit and missy stuff. Uh, the eyeshadow palette. You know, I had honestly a little bit of trouble with the blend. Uh, it got a little patchy, but overall not bad. The lipstick was nice, the foundation's nice, the contour is beautiful, the highlight in the contour palette's kinda like a <clears throat> eyeliner is a no, but the pencil liner was a yes, primer is a yes, the mascara's it's all right, not worth the price. I mean, it's like crazy price. Anyways, yeah, that's my thoughts, you know. I mean, it's like kind of hit and missy and the price is super high. So really, I mean, I just put the details out there and you guys can make the decisions for yourselves. But thank you so much for watching. This is the final look. We went with a darker look today, which we don't normally do. So hi for swatching it up. Be sure and thumbs up this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you all over in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye. This blue though is giving me la la. You hit my mind, you hit my head. Fuzz on my shirt. Get off my shirt. <gasps>